Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back, whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean bueno. between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Nosotros lo estamos jugando lentito. Con secundarias y demás. Things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed the paradise lay somewhere in the west for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do. We'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. cities they're always repellent exactly I'll find you in there go see what you can figure out yes my friend Gavin I don't know any Gavins I'm afraid English bloke lovely fella he went missing and uh, now I'm all alone good luck that's uh, that's too bad Gavin! siento mucho señor Sí, sí, sí. ¡Gavin! Es NPC. Eh, es maravilloso. No puedo decir más. Bueno, claro, ahora... Ahora tiene sentido, ¿no? 
¿Qué pasa, señora? I'll stand here until I die if I have to. I don't care. I want to vote. I am a citizen. I have a brain. Let me vote, you ignorant fools. Estoy con usted, ma'am. You know, it's terribly important. What is voting? Yes, terribly. Once women get the vote, the whole country will stop making such a pig's ear of everything. There'll be no more wars, no hunger, no stupidity. We'll elect a woman president within the first ten years, of course. You see, men are such judgmental prigs. You need us women to help straighten you out. Okay? With us helping. I'm not saying there won't be trouble. I just think we'll do a better job of things. Um, well, I hope you're right. Good luck. Ha cambiado bastante, eh. La, el If discurso. It takes until the rest of the 20th century. Queremos votar. ¿Por, ¿Por qué quieres votar? Porque sois unas mierdas. Votéis como el culo, hacéis todo como el culo y nosotras podemos hacer cosas la, la cosa mil veces mejor. Creo que ese no es el punto, señora. <risa> Creo me da a mí que ese concretamente no era el punto. Eh, voy a ir a por agua porque yo en teoría tengo agua. No sé dónde, pero yo en teoría en algún sitio tengo agua. Eh, voy a por agua. Hola, ah, ya está aquí. Discúlpeme, discúlpeme. Estaba yendo por agua. Buenas, Benja. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Fui a, a por hidratasado. ¿Qué hago? Eh, por la campaña del Red Dead Redemption 2. <ríe> y había ido a por agüita. Ay. ¿Y tú? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo andas? ¿Qué te cuentas? Y ese tipo de cosas. Hey, friend. Bonjour. Hey, partner. Je vous salue. Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah, real fast. 
funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here or not. Es un juego de, de la época del antiguo oeste y es de Rockstar. No, no sabría cómo qué, qué más contarte. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> That's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get okay. washed away. <laughs> Every year they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they lucky to have us. If it wasn't for us, they probably have run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Come here, let's see. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. Eso sienta de puto culo, tío. Te doy un super consejo de educación. Nunca lo digas. You ever hear of a fellow by the name of Bronte? Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. But... Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. But, oh, hey, friend, you, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Come on now, this sulking doesn't become you. You always have to be right, don't you? I'm just pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Listen, Bob, Brad. Here. Come on. This away. Let's Come go, on. mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here is a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Does Catholics he... here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh, we all friends now. Isn't that the most beautiful testament to God's love for us all? Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine. Steeples. Hey, hey, you little pair of shits. Let's go. That fellow looks angry. Get back here.
kid. That a shit went that way. Thanks for the help, friend. You know, I kind of miss old Bob. Hey. Ain't you tired yet, old man? Hey! Moron! No te echo, no me canso. Goodbye, mister. <laughs> Seen a kid come through here about 14, 15. Oh yeah, he ran right to us. Ran around the corner there. Okay. Whoa! Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is fun, Mister. I like you. Hay gente que se come anuncios, hay gente que no. Ahí ya. What's the problem, friend? Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. <gasps> now, come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but... I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just want to speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He'd been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. Ya me molaría a mí matarme unos críos de estos. Los hijos de la gran puta. Pero coño, toma. Un coin. Go get Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just. Begging. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Probably here in the dirt. I'd like you to move. Córteme el pelo. Por favor.
Thank you. Yeah, that looks good. I like it. Well, I guess we're all done here. Thank you for your help. Hey, careful! Hey! Arthur, over here! Careful, man. Where have you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. Oh. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. Vale. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Quiero. Acabo de llegar al sitio. Por 50 pavos, acabo de llegar al sitio. Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you? Some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. <clears throat> toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic, <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betrayed and not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. Well, still... So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, big nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity in ways you cannot see. 
good for you. Ways I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> Ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> Enchanté! Hello! Hello, sir! <laughs> okay, uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay, uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. But maybe I can make you immortal. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this boat. You're a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watched them conspire, you morons. I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? So, Professor... Show us your magical toy boat. Only this time, let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Uh, don't touch that. Use these ones to steer, and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. They can miss the explosion if they touch the boat. Okay. Okay. If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, what technology can do in the hands of certified genius? And I have certificate. Hey, it's doing what I'm telling it. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hummer. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. What a way to go. Trapped in a box on the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not bad. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. To the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. The, the, the demonstration is not over yet. Any fool can explore the sitting dock. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to 